welcome back to the channel today we are here in photoshop and i'm going to be showing you telling you about some tools some red touchers you rarely use in photoshop right. i'm going to be showing you how to use these tools where they are and how you can assess them and how you can use them to make your photo look better okay so don't forget this is asa studio channel for music producers photographers so much more it is the that will be coming out soon all right so let's dive right into the tutorial first of all look at the photo and you can see that the color or the skin color is actually not different but you know some place brighter or the highlights too much the whites too much and some place have the color why some place don't just have the color you can also see some pimples but let's forget about that let's look at the way the face is actually is uh, it's as if it's pressed inside like a concave or convex and also we are going to be adjusting the perspective of the photo and so much more the white balance because white balance is actually used when we have a white color or something white to reference with so that it can actually correct the color of the photo but in this photo we have nothing like that and i feel a white balance is a go-to for us to edit this photo but before that let's go these are the things we are going to be adjusting so let's get right started okay so i'm going to duplicate this twice turn this off this is going to be our reference layer i'm also going to turn this one off so we're going to get back to this because we're going to be using it to work on the perspective all right so on this one we're going to go to filter go to camera raw filter so here we are on the camera raw filter all right so just few things i'm going to be changing first of all let's change the um the let's correct the photo now as you can see if i change this to auto you see that it's not still what i want change it to custom you see that it's just the same as short all right okay so now what will you do when you don't have white in the photo this is what you're going to do right this side of the photo is actually bright as highlight so you look for where there's highlight in the photo let's zoom in a bit and then we're going to use the air because it has some blacks and that's where i'm going to use i'm not going to use this side i'm just going to use where as white and black so this the tip of our head and as i click watch what's going to happen so you can see that actually adjusted it a little okay so let's zoom out okay so let's continue on that now you can compare that as with a short and auto and custom so you can look at the tremendous change compared to a shot of which we can see that some of the skin color has been corrected all right so now the next step i'm going to go i'm actually going to correct the uh, um, destruction and with the optics panel but before that let's go to the geometry and the geometry straightens the photo i don't want this way it's actually bending i want it straight so this is what i'm going to do although the pic the photo is actually okay the way it is but is it i take the one you want to you want to stretch the perspective or you want to leave it like this but i won't feel like i need to stretch the perspective okay so now i'm going to click on auto or you can click on level perspective only level the correction whichever one will give you the same i click this one and you can see how it's actually smoothing it you can click on also auto and then you see the same result on that okay let's say this is what we want I'm gonna leave that the way it is but before that let's con let's um undo that ctrl z let's go to the optives and you know straighten our face so bring it out that's too much i'm gonna bring it by minus seven and then you see how straight it is so i'm gonna bring it out a little bit minus eight is actually looking good okay so let's see the before and then the after so not too much i'm gonna bring it by minus six so let's see minus six it's actually looking good okay compared to this one now the face all right so i'm gonna close that's the tool people rarely use in photoshop just because it feels like oh the photo is actually correct the way it is now let's go to the geometry and then you can see on manual transformation 
um, click on the vertical rotate and so i'm just going to click on auto first of all and see how it straightens the photo like this just a little bit okay and then i'm going to click back and that has straightened the geometry with the perspective compared to this one and you can actually come back and do some basic edits but i'm going to leave it like this and show you some other ways you can actually edit the photo okay so now it's going to adjust make the adjustment we just made and you can see okay so now i'm just going to turn on this one you can see the difference between the color now this one i'm going to go back to camera raw filter and then do the correction of uh of the body so as i don't want to change the body position i want to change the head position so just the basic adjustment with the hydro pad tool i'm going to use the white balance and then i'm going to adjust the photo just like that and then click ok for that one and it's going to make the adjustment too all right so now we have two photos with that adjustment okay so what are we going to do next i'm just going to click on this one and i'm going to create a mask for it now on the mask i'm going to hide some parts let's click on the brush tool from ground color black and i'm just going to paint on this one the flow is actually on six so i'm going to increase the flow a little bit to get a good result okay so let's clean till we have something similar like that okay i'm gonna clean this one too so we have something similar like that so let's keep adjusting our hands and you can see the difference it's actually making with our hands all right okay so something like this looking good looking good and looking okay all right so you can take your time and know create the adjustment i'm going to take this one decrease the flow of the brush and i'm gonna you can create and blend these two together but i'm just gonna erase the above so as to get a smooth transition okay now you see that our hair is cut off which is from this one so you can adjust that if you want but i'm gonna leave it like that and then continue working on this one so let's also blend this one by erasing some parts now let's make this to group them together merge layers and we have this click on the clone stamp tool zoom in and take it up okay so now i'm going to sample an area like this up here and then i'm going to click on art and let's cover the rest part of the image just like that i'm going to take the black part and then you can make it darker okay i'm going to decrease art and then you know cover this place backwards just like that uh, you can all right so let's get that done just went to tidy up some things all right the way this place is actually is you know when one or two frequency separation it can be you know adjusted but since we have everything meshed together can actually use the mixer brush tool and you know blend this the more even more okay so we can you know bring it and blend the two colors together increase the size of the brush okay so i guess it's time photoshop is wondering what to do something like that it's gonna rotate all right so that can be done with frequency separation so let's not get into that now we can actually correct the photo itself the colors and the rest okay oh uh, so one thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the normal tool we do use okay um which is the U and saturation and for that i'm just going to quickly because i know it's very hard for you to select where it's actually white but it's easy for you to select 
what has color in them so i'm just going to click that place and you can see the place is actually selected i have this process already in the channel how to do that so you can check it up let's increase it all the way up and find the sweet spot for it so i guess we're going to take it backwards and you can see just want to select some range okay so increase this one take it up or take it back a little okay turn it off and on to see if the place is actually selected off and on so it's actually selected let's turn it on and then let's take some place even bring it a little bit further and i can take this backwards let's take this backwards and take this backwards okay all right so now we have that selected i'm just going to reset this backwards to zero and let's see how we're going to make it look like the end but this time i think we need to adjust the whites okay so we're trying to make it look like the end luminosity of the end uh we can actually decrease the saturation but that's going to be too much and we can bring all this back do not worry about that so we're not taking we're taking it to the front and then the lightness too much take this backwards okay so we have that we can see before and then we can see after all right so let's close that and then you can see the difference which is this and we try to blend it with our hands i have the way this tutorial by the way in the channel okay so you can check that out now i'm going to create a stamp visible layer Control shift alternate key so this time around let's go to camera raw filter again all right so here we are in camera raw filter again and we're just going to know take some things track some things all right so let's decrease the exposure just a bit and then increase the highlights i'm going to decrease the white this is going to affect our ends again okay you can brighten up the shadows well, let's finally let's take it down all the way down okay i think it's looking awesome now you can take out the blacks or bring down the blacks so i'm just going to make some few changes on that uh the highlight i feel like it's actually too much a shot okay so texture let's take it up decide we've not done some frequency separation so let's just take it up what else do we need we can add some little bit vibrant i won't touch that yet let's take it back to zero and close the basic panel i'm going to go to the curves and you know we can do some basic edits on the curves from here i'm going to create an next curve take this up take this down that's too much okay and we can see the before the after so okay that looks okay now the main place i'm going to focus on is the color mixer so this is the color mixer and i want to focus more on our skin so let's go to the skin and i guess there's some orange present i'm going to increase the saturation i'm going to change the increase the saturation of the red too just a bit let's increase the saturation of the yellows and then we have this and that of the orange the U. let's go back to the U, and we want to make everything orange look like this all right just a no take it to the other side looks like the orange the everything yellow i want to make everything red look like the red itself i want to make everything yellow look like the yellow itself and not green okay um luminance luminance of the i think the luminance of the yellow we're going to bring it back Kind of how those places bring this back also then i'm gonna 
take this up i feel like this color is kind of the aqua so i'm gonna take the slider down go to the saturation increase the saturation of those and we have that all right so that is just going to be okay this one uh let's take the aquas back to the green let me make it looks like some purples okay so now we can check out our before and after but before that let's go to the calibration and then she's fair skin so take this up like 12 and then take the blue back like so not too much let's find a sweet spot for the greens no so this looks like a sweet spot for me minus nine okay so that's that for now and i'm gonna eat okay and you can see the changes made on the photo okay so we can do some you know adjustment basic adjustments now selecting only the end and then you know, changing the u okay so like this Let's go on create a U and saturation layer. Let's increase the saturation. In fact, the mask. Yeah, and then pick on the brush tool and increase the size of the brush. Let's paint on our ends only. I mean the brush to close this, increase the size, and then I'm gonna paint on our hands only and i want more saturation on that part let's increase the flow so i guess i don't want the video to be long so you can you know take your time and then do what you know looks best for the photo okay all right so now let's adjust that i'm gonna reset zero zero enter and let's see is it a change the u or the brightness let's try and change the brightness zero change the brightness bring it down so just like that and then giving some saturation okay so we've ended up correcting that with saturation do we need to change the brightness okay so that looks that looks fine to me all right so we've corrected that uh and we can go on and add color balance and for the color balance we can decrease the red in the overall give it some yellow tone or maybe some blues but i like the yellows okay uh now you can just make adjustment to your photo the way you want it okay so i'm gonna decrease the blue there cyan let's give it some yellow and let's go back to the shadows let's not dial in some red i'm gonna leave it at zero okay and also leave it at that so let's see so this color grade actually looks too much on the mid tone i'm going to decrease the red by plus one all right so that looks okay to me i think i prefer the first one compared to this one so i'm going to just gonna delete this one and if you're okay with this you can do some frequency separation but i just gonna use the quick tool for this one to remove the blemishes you can actually blend the skin tone with uh, frequency separation so something like that remove that remove this one remove those on the head okay come on i think my pc is running slow already so just a little bit 
of these lines that are there let me check the time and it's already 19 so I think that's just what I want to show you and that's where I'm going to stop okay all right so you know what you can do you can actually use frequency separation to you know do the photo the way you want it but there's a lot of videos on that and a lot of videos on this photo that you can actually watch and how they did their frequency separation so i'm going to stop right here and then i'm going to you know post it so you guys can learn one or two things so thank you for watching thank you for staying once again this is asas